So story begins from the journey of Arunachal. We are thinking of that. क्यों ना हम साउथ चले So we planned and decided to go Gurg, Mysuru, Uti, Kunnur and at the last the Mashinagudi. And this is the first time I am only with my family without friends. Traveling in a train and watching the view outside the window and drinking hot coffee with it is a different sensation. across approx 1900 kilometers over Odisha Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu This is the first video after reaching Mysuru at 3:25 am This is our train and my daughter is very happy finally we reach here after reaching from mysuru we are going to stay at pems homestay in kurg here we have a family suite room elegant perfectly cleaned and well decorated and outside scenario is beautiful also after refreshing and having lunch we are away to the visit of popular coffee plantation which is the famous part of kurg visit things are different here temperature is little bit higher than our state west bengal at the last week of december also and weather is quite clear So here we come the cool plantation with mountain view and our guide was Mr Habib having adequate knowledge to the mountain view plantation kurk thank you so i'm going to explain you the things english okay okay it will be fine so the major thing is like we are growing the uh, worldwide fruits and uh, 40 varieties of spices in this plantation along with it, the major one is coffee so the coffee Especially, you can have a look over here. This is coffee as senaphora, means a robusta coffee. A robusta coffee will be a long staple leaf. The seeds are like a round or spherical form. It contains above sixty percent caffeine. So, which can be used for uh, making black coffee, filter coffees, cappuccino, espresso, etc. But when it comes to the matter of arabica coffee, arabica coffee is having a uh, which grows only a tall in size, and uh, the seeds are you know. This is completely robust no, coffee, sir. and we used to export more about the avocado. Avocado, sir. Avocado. Well. So in our local market, we used to get it fifty rupees a kg and all, or about that, sixty, seventy rupees within that period. So coffee actually needs twenty-one to twenty-six degree temperature yeah. to grow. So more than that, it cannot tolerate. So we used to grow the trees in between that to provide the shadow. Next pro process, you know what? by providing uh, you know by planting the uh, trees in between the plantations we have more benefits as well pepper is a creeper actually black pepper is a creeper so it will occupy the tree and grows the next one uh, trees are going to control you know which plant pepper hmm? i'll show you i'll show you i'll show you wait wait, wait. okay so the next thing is uh, trees are going to stop the soil erosion during the rainfall this is yeah, the yeah. peach patta bay leaves i know bay leaves this is the bay leaf yeah we know so we know. the bark of the peach patta is called as cinnamon so pepper you can have a pepper so this is completely black pepper
after having enjoyed around 30 minutes and knowing precisely all about different plants, spices and their utilities, we are going to enjoy the titanic shaft viewpoint. This is an another attraction of this plantation for selfie lovers and photographers. The path was steeper for some moments, which was difficult for our daughter. Now taking rest for some time and enjoying the aerial view by flying drone from here. View from here of the road and the mountain ranges far away from here is really eye shooting. Our guide told us there is an another viewpoint from where we can see the third highest peak of Kulk that is Kote Beta. Now enjoy the mesmerizing aerial view of here. Now we are going to visit Abbey Falls, which is located approx 10 km from Madike. And these falls offer some of the most beautiful sceneries among the waterfalls in India. So here is the falls, we have to hike down 500 to 700 meters to see it from the behind of net. We can't touch the water, this place is very overcrowded. The path goes via coffee plantation. There are many trekking tails in this region. Now let's enjoy the beautiful view of Abbey Falls. We are now going to visit Raja's tomb. There are three tombs, but only one can be accessed as others are locked. This tomb are 200 plus years old. Also this tomb could have been better maintained but still worth the place for some good pictures and is surrounded by a nice park to sit and chill. We are now at Madhikiri Fort Museum. There is a very small collection of historical items, articles, religious idols excavated from archaeological sites. The coin collection is impressive as well. Precisely maintained and kept clean, students having historical interest would like very much. We had small time visit here. A 
main building is under renovation. The greenery and natural sunlight during the daytime makes this place beautiful. Now we are here, one of the most beautiful place in Kurk is Rajasit. Today we'll enjoy the beautiful sunset from here. As always expected in the month of December, in India everywhere is overcrowded, so this is not the exception. place is famous for its beautiful gardens and used to be a leisurely spot for the kings of old. Many varieties of flowers exist in this place which is surely to uplift the mood of the visitors. That is why it makes for a good spot if you are with your family and just want to relax and to watch the beautiful sunset. This is a must visit place if you are in Kurk. Today's weather is perfect and we are enjoying the great views of the entire valley. And now let's enjoy the phenomenal view of sunset. Signing off this is Neymar.